February the 9th, 2022. Guys, you're looking at our website, bpearthwatch.com, and my wife Tina handles this. She updates it, she designed it, and keeps it running. And in the center, you see the video from last night, the massive solar eruption. And someone, or maybe a couple people in the comment section said uh, last night after the video about confirmation. They had been studying the book of Malachi also yesterday, and then we talked about it uh, last night. But uh, again, Malachi uh, chapter 4, it's only four short chapters, last book in the Old Testament. It talks about Shemesh, and that means the sun in the sky, not the Son of God, but that it, its healing wings would pour out and uh, to us in these end times. And one of the things that I've talked about in the video then, or, or last night, and in several before this, is that I think that's how God is going to take out AI. He's, of course, it's going to cost the grid, but, you know, sometimes that may be a good thing. Take the, But the satellites in the sky controlling the global neural link network, things like that. And talk about confirmation this morning, and I want you to come over to bpearthwatch.com and you can check it out for yourself. But Tina has put in the current news section a article from space.com, and it says SpaceX says a geomagnetic storm just doomed 40 Starlink Internet satellites. And we had an eruption on the 4th, and we created a geomagnetic storm and the auroras were bright over the poles and things like that but it was strong enough to where before these satellites that had been launched had made it into their final orbit if there were <clears throat> it fried 40 of the 49 that were launched and i've seen these things in the night sky twice while they were in low orbit and it looked like a train going through the sky it's amazing i'm sure a lot of you have seen it but anyway this is exactly what I was talking about. Exactly. And uh, you guys were talking about it too. SpaceX says a geomagnetic storm just doomed 40 Starlink Internet satellites. Shemesh at work. Let's look at this article. <clears throat> Again, space.com. It says SpaceX says a geomagnetic storm just doomed 40 Starlink satellites. The satellites launched on February the 3rd, only to hit by uh, the storm a day later on the 4th when we had that uh, geomagnetic storm. And this you're looking at a, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket that launched 49 Starlink satellites into orbit. This is at Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, February the 3rd. Check that out. And uh, Musk has two things, the neural link for the human brain to interface with AI, and uh, Starlink, the satellites that will control all of it, in completely encircling the globe. He has thousands up probably by now. He's been launching them as quick as they could get them up. And I think some of the other stuff that we've seen has been a distraction, um, especially dealing with SpaceX, away from this. Again, Starlink just took a uh, 40 uh, sat uh, loss. They cost them $250,000 per satellite, so you can figure that times 40, that, which is uh, pennies to people that uh, are in this game. But uh, again, the sun is doing exactly what Malachi wrote about, that God told him to write about. And uh, let's continue, uh, continue the article. But let me say this before I forget. Another thing on confirmation, when I showed the picture of uh, the two Siberian Husky pups we have last night, and I said this may be the first night they get to stay outside. Uh, they're eight weeks old, which is on a deck, guys, with the railing and the doghouse on it. It's not like they would be out in the, uh, we have a pretty, we have about nine acres here, but uh, only 300 feet are fenced in, but Anyway, all you ladies were exactly right. Within 10 minutes of that video being up last night, they were inside being rocked and sleeping in their um, dog little dog cage inside. They loved it. They, but uh, maybe <laughs> maybe you, you guys were right that that's going to be a permanent thing, but um, they really enjoy it outside. They're out there running around now playing. It's sunny, uh, beautiful day here in the south. And um, one other thing, uh, California... You're under um, 
heat advisories in February. Talk about wild weather. It says preliminary analysis show the increased drag at the low altitude prevented the satellites from leaving safe mode to begin orbit raising maneuvers and up to 40 of the satellites will re-enter or already have re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, again, this came out uh, yesterday evening. Uh, so these are very small. They're like micro satellites. I, I think they'll be burned up in uh, re-entry. And, but uh, everything's going small now. You don't need that. But you're putting 49 up at a time like this. And if you haven't uh, seen one of these launches, it's amazing the way these things come out on a rail uh, into uh, low orbit. It's um, a sight to see, especially if you get to see them at night while they're still in low orbit. It looks like a major line of very large UFOs. But guys, uh, again, confirmation on Malachi. I think it's important. And I think it's just a sign. And it's a sign for people that study. It's a sign from God that we can trust his word. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.